Hi everyone, today we show you the difference between having good core strength or core stability or perhaps even core optimization through good uh, neural patterning. So uh, we use Anya here to show how uh, perhaps something like a plank which is deemed to be a good core exercise might actually impact on neurological sequencing of the core. I'm going to check out what we might call a TBA pattern here. So legs slightly bent and down. And is going to take a breath in, breathe out and draw her belly button in at the same time and apply pressure. So and then breathe in, breathe out with your mouth open, belly button in and match pressure. And here we can see that if I push down a little bit harder, she finds it really, really hard to, to do that. But she's got something there. I don't have to push um, really, really hard. She has a little bite to, to how her core sequence. Now I'm just going to get her to do a plank for a few seconds. And then just flip over and do a plank. And perhaps what we see here with the position of planks, how people do them, do they have a really uh, overactive uh, rectus abdominis that maybe isn't kept in check by the thoracic extensors, may actually load up an, uh, a facilitation of a certain muscles in a certain pathway. So let's now let's turn her back over and come over here, and let's see what happens to her, her core or her particular pattern of assessing the TBA with, with, with other muscles. Breathe in, breathe out, belly button in, and match pressure. And here we see it's actually fairly similar, is she can't really hold that. So we, sometimes when we see the plank, we, we often assume it's going to be a good exercise for improving our core function. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to assess another way of perhaps what, what she might be using to compensate. So I'm going to get Andy to hold her breath. So breathe in, hold your breath, draw your belly button in, match pressure here. Here we can see she's got a good neurological lock here. Um, just relax down. There might be other things, so I know for example that Anya has a belly button ring, so we can certainly see some things that might be contributing to her core shutting down. So we we'll test it again. I'm actually going to tap on her belly button scar uh, where the ring goes through. Breathe in, breathe out, belly button in. And here we can see now she's lost all ability to stabilise her trunk. So we know that she likes to hold her breath. So something we could do is perhaps put our hand on the area of dysfunction and find out if she can stabilise with that. So breathe in. Breathe out, belly button in. And here I'm pushing really, really hard here, and she's got a much better optimization. So instead of considering things like plank exercises, which might actually shut down your ability to stabilize your core, we can use tests such as this to see how someone might recruit uh, certain muscles that might lead to muscular dysfunction.